Welcome to uh, episode 35 of Taylor's Detroit Sports Show. I am not in the mood of playing any music or saying, hey, they're Detroit sports fanatics, like I, uh, the way I usually say it. <clears throat> um, Tigers uh, got absolutely destroyed by the last place Minnesota Twins, 20-6. to Robbie Ray got rocked in the second inning for six runs. Tigers try to come back in the fifth, only to cut the deficit to one, from six to one to six to five. Um, but in the sixth inning, they they scored. Uh, the the Twins scored nine runs. Jim off of Jim Johnson and Ian Kroll and, and Al Albuquerque. Make it 15 to five. Uh, Robbie Ray is uh, very far from ready from uh, being a major league starting pitcher. And uh, the bullpen is just shooting themselves in the head instead of the feet. They're just, they're not fresh after two straight days off. They're just spoiled in the refrigerator and, and, and worse than spoiled. This is, uh, this, this is a catastrophe. And you know, and you, you know, every, and you know how every Tiger fan feels here. I'm as mad as hell, and I'm not going to take this anymore. Exactly. Robbie Ray, just leave the team now. You choked. Your bullpen choked choked, so did your offense, including Victor Martinez, who is a shell of a human being. A pathetic shell of a human being. Despite going two for four. Blew a chance to at least tie it in, in the top of the six. And that's worthless. That's just a... That's, that's one of the biggest parts of a worthless choke job. Uh, that's all for Friday's contest. Saturday's doubleheader 110 and 810. Buck Farmer and Justin Verlander will start for Detroit. Then apparently Max Scherzer. Yeah, Max Scherzer will. Uh, Start on Sunday at two ten. You know where to f find this on television and the radio. So on to the Lions. Lions win thirteen to twelve despite committing. 15 penalties and four turnovers, including three lost fumbles and one interception.
George Wynn had the George Wynn scored the game winning touchdown. With seven with uh, seven nineteen left to go in the fourth quarter. Reggie Bush uh scored an eighty six yard touchdown to open the scoring in the first quarter. And that that set the tone for most of this game. Jacksonville Jaguars, uh, in the end, had one. Uh, thought they had one more play, but they couldn't get off. They couldn't get, get the snap off in time. And the Lions easily held on for a 13-12 victory. They're in Buffalo on Thursday at 7. You know where to find that. So, very, very short, short, short episode 35 of Taylor's Detroit Sports on Spreaker. I'm Taylor Phillips. I'll, uh, I'll do episode 36 uh, in between games one and two of the doubleheader. Ciao.